We launched very quietly in August of 2013. We pulled 4,000 mobile numbers from the Do Something database in Chicago and then in El Paso. We wanted to see the difference between the markets. And we just messaged out to them that there's this new hotline available if someone they knew needed it, which meant they had to re-opt in. And in four months, we were in all 295 area codes in the United States. Entirely word of mouth. I can't believe you're not clapping. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on one hand, it's great. On the other hand, it's really sad. There's a lot of pain in America, and in particular, young people needed a place to turn to. It turns out that text is a fantastic way to crisis counsel people. It's private. No one overhears you. So um, during lunchtime, we experience high volume every day, and you think that she's texting the boy across the cafeteria or her mom, and she's actually texting us about the anxiety she's feeling, and she's on the verge of having a panic attack. Um, uh, we uh, get people from the back of biology class. We get adults in meetings um, feeling <clears throat> anxiety or depression about their performance at work um, in the heat of the moment because it's private, which means we have the maximum ability to tip someone to a healthy direction. If you text us in that moment when you're about to swallow a pill, um, be, respond in anger, or take some kind of anger, uh, some kind of response that might have a permanent impact on your life or others, and instead you text us and we can remind you how strong you are and that there are other options, we can have the maximum possible impact. It turns out our texters uh, skew young, poor, and rural. 75% of our users are under the age of 25, including, and I say this as a parent, including 10% of our users under the age of 13, which is really large when you think about who has a cell phone. <clears throat> poor if you take the nation's lowest 10% by socioeconomic status area codes. That 10% is using 19% of our volume, so we double over-index the poorest people in America. And rural, rural area codes, rural locations where they don't have access to mental health and behavioral health services, um, including 5% of our texters indicate that they are uh, Native American or Native Alaskan which is interesting considering that only 1.5% of America identifies that way.